Hey, how's it going everybody? Okay, so I'm just making a really quick video. Uh, I stumbled upon this program, and uh, before I get into that, exactly what it is, I'll show you the whole screen and how, how I'm getting it to work, but basically, what I've wanted to do for a long time is, ever since I got the Cintiq here, and you know, working on two monitors and stuff, that's really good, really cool stuff's happening there, um, but you can't really see my setup just yet, but you know, eventually I'll show you guys this stuff. Um, it's pretty primitive. My keyboard is actually underneath the Cintiq here, and I have to shift it over to the side. And long story short, some of the keyboard uh, shortcuts that, you, that I want to use, I can't get to simply because they're, it's inconvenient. It's in the way. Um, right here in the Cintiq, it's very similar to like if you have, uh, I don't think the Bamboo has it, but like an Intuos, that definitely has one. And there's some other um, programs that have them as well, or tablets I should say. Right along the sides, I've got like touch strips and shortcut keys that you can map to things. Awesome stuff. Um, where we got here? Even even right here, I'll just show you uh, where we at there. Where we at? Right here. Even on the actual um, pen itself, we all know about this stuff. You can remap all this thing uh, to do different things. Even even the eraser, you can uh, map that to something if you don't want it to erase. That's all good and stuff. However, that I'm only limited to this. Okay. Now there used to be this thing and I still can't find it uh, I looked online and the prices were pretty up there it's basically a keyboard but it's like a gaming keyboard where you would put it onto the side or something like that and most people are left handed and it would have like a billion keys on it that's awesome because you could have that right next to your your tablet or whatever and you just hit that you know what I mean like it would just be comfortable that way you wouldn't have to like have I, I don't know I keep going over it but anyway long story short I found um, uh, this piece of software, it's free. It's gonna be, there's a link right in the uh, description bar. Click that, download it, try it out yourself. Literally just using this. Uh, this is just a, a regular Logitech keyboard. Uh, keyboard, what am I talking about? A Logitech gamepad. And what it does here, I can just zoom in here just to show you guys. Obviously you can see it's got all these numbers and all that cool stuff. It represents like a PlayStation 2 a gamepad or anything. And I bought this to play um, games on the computer. Now what I found that you can do with the software is really cool. You can remap all of these keys to actually do sh uh, keyboard shortcuts. So what this lets me do is now I can be totally comfortable while I'm drawing, you know, like da 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 da, -da I'm drawing. And I can just be pressing this. This can be my lap. This can be anywhere. I could I can totally relax and I can come I, you know, I can recline back on my chair and just press this and everything's fine. It sounds a little weird, but definitely try it out because this is awesome. Um, yeah, like I've even got it so that I'll show you guys when we do the screen recording here. But like one of these buttons just switches like uh, from black to white. One goes from a brush to an eraser. Uh, I just mapped right now. Just trying to see if I can get complicated shortcut keys like a, a control S for a save. I got that to the start button. So anytime I hit start, boom, it's saving, it's saving. Now what's really cool too, make sure you get one that's got these analog sticks because that's like four extra keys right there that you can just... And I've got two keys up at the top that I can hit. So ultimately I'm working with one, two, three, four... 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11, and I believe I can press it in for something too, so possibly 12 keys. Um, since I'm left-handed, I won't be using any of this over here on the left-hand side, and, I, and if you're right-handed, I'm assuming you'll be using this side, you won't really be using this. Um, anyway, long story short, download this thing now if, you've got a, uh, if you work with any kind of digital stuff, especially a Cintiq, because I think it's going to improve at least something. I can tell you right now, it just feels better. Um, but anyway, enough jibber jabber. I'm going to show you guys some screen recording and just kind of quickly go over the program. I literally just downloaded it and wanted to share it with you guys. So anyway, stick around and we'll get right to it. Okay, so here we are. Um, this is literally the website, um, joy to key That's uh, the actual name of the, the software. Um, I didn't look too into this before hitting the record for this entire thing. I was just in a real rush to share the energy with you guys that I had from it, but um, I don't know if this is available for you Mac users. Um, I'm going to assume this is just for PC. Uh, he or she talks nothing about um, PC out there, or uh, sorry, Mac users out there. However, since the fact that this does exist, um, if some of you may not have been aware of it, now you can at least do like a Google search or whoever you look for it. But anyway, so this is it. Kind of goes down to like talks a little bit about uh, what this is. Um, this software is a keyboard emulator for joysticks. It converts joystick input into key input and mouse input. Um, so yeah, so you can go there, you can read all your features, all that cool stuff, yada, yada, yada. Um, this is the actual software. Let me just pop it up here. 
right here. Um, I just made a new one. I guess you just hit create here and you can name whatever. I named it Manga Studio. I had no idea what I was doing, but apparently what this is, is you can set this all up. So I can make a new one called Photoshop. I can make one called, I don't know, um, uh, what's another one? Google SketchUp. And what you can do is every time you make a new one of these, all this, the joysticks options on the right here, they, they become new. So you could have, actually have this for specific uh, software that you want to run it with. Um, so anyway, like I kind of showed you guys on my on my uh, little keyboard here, or not my keyboard, my gamepad, sorry, it had numbers on there. And if you don't have numbers on your actual um, handheld thing here, controller, man, I have no idea what I'm talking about with you guys. <laughs> I just want to get back to actually using this, but um, you might have to play around with it. But anyway, so as you can see here, button one, my first button here, I, I uh, mapped it so that it presses the X key. Um, my second button is a space bar so I can move around and all that stuff. Um, and this is basically it. So let me just show you where, where uh, this was. I was having a little bit of trouble with it. And this is probably the most complicated thing you might think of or eventually you'll see exactly how we get into it. But I wanted the start button to just be a save button. So it's not necessarily near my thumb. I kind of have to reach over a little bit for it. Um, it's not the most comfortable way to save, uh, but that's okay. I'd rather have my comfortable keys right where the thumb is going to be doing most of the work there. Uh, so if you just actually double click on it, you'll get this guy that pops up right here, configuration for button 10. Uh, that's my start button. So right here, uh, this is how I had to get this to work. As you can see, it's left control and S. That would be your save, right? Um, how I had to do this was if you click this assign special keys button, you're going to have all these other things here too. So left shift, right shift, left control, all that stuff. And what you do is you just literally hit assign. So left control, assign, and it'll turn it in there. So let's say I needed a left control, um, then you click in here, and, and then I also needed to do a left alt at the same time. I could assign that. Um, and what it'll do is it'll start moving things around as you can see there. So we definitely want that left control. Uh, there you go, left control S, and that's going to save it every time. Other than that, I mean, it's literally that easy. Let's say our third button here, I'm going to double click that. Uh, I want it to be my brush tool. So if you're using Photoshop, that's B. If you're using Manga Studio, that's B as well. So you just press B and click OK and bang, that's it. You're done. Every time I press the third button, it'll, it'll just switch to that. So play around with this. Definitely get used to this kind of stuff. It's so much easier to just be able to have that. And the really cool thing too, right, is like now that I have the, the uh, controller in my hand, being able to hit all those keys, all those shortcut keys that I had mapped onto the Cintiq, or in your in your cases, if you guys don't have a Cintiq, you have like an Intuos or, or maybe a Bamboo. I think maybe even some of the newer Bamboos have some keys on there. You could still use your index finger, right, your pointer. So you could still, even though you got a controller in your hand, you could click those buttons. So it, the idea is to totally remove the keyboard from the equation unless it's some crazy stuff. So what I'm going to be doing, actually, to the, once we're done this here, I'm going to try it as well, is uh, I'm going to press one of these L and R buttons at the very top of your controller so that I can do like a control T, so a transformation key. That's usually something that I find that I have to always hit. But anyway, that's for me to do. You guys can figure it out your, on your own as well. I hope you guys have fun with this software. I hope um, it gives you a little bit more freedom and it gives you a little bit more energy and a little bit more, um, you know, positive things to get your art done you know it's just one of the more beautiful things about working digitally right is the fact that we have options like this available to us so abuse the hell out of it anyway keep making comics keep reading comics talk to you next time and uh take care you guys bye